welcome back all of you once again it's backpack uh, still we are talking about egyptian culture history and civilization and we are talking about the important sites to visit well here in egypt all around egypt you have many of these important sites we are talking about monuments temples let's say that as we can see the pharaohs of ancient egypt they were very keen to document all their events and all about the rains. So let's say, for example, if we're talking about Upper Egypt, you will find many, many important temples that have many of the beautiful pieces that goes back thousands of years ago. And also by visiting museums, you will find the same. And all these pieces will tell you more about the ancient history. Not only will tell you about the rulers of Egypt or the pharaohs of Egypt, but from each of these pieces you can learn more about architecture during that era more about the things that used to happen more about the status of the country during that uh, let's say uh, something like this certain period of time because of course it differs from one pharaoh to the other from one era to the other so all of these pieces each piece has a story to tell us The Egyptian Museum is home to an extensive collection of ancient Egyptian antiquities. And no visit to Egypt is complete without a trip to the museum. But before we enter the museum, we must take a close look at the building itself. It is the first purpose-built museum edifice in the world. It is designed in the neoclassical style. It has about 107 halls filled with artifacts dating from the prehistoric through the Roman periods, with the majority of the collection focused on the Pharaonic era. The museum houses about 160,000 objects, covering 5,000 years of Egypt's history. Moving around the museum make you feel as if you are traveling from one age to another, surrounded with so many ancient pieces and artifacts that reflect different ages, going back thousands of years. On the entrance, there is an impressive big colossus for Ramses II, the third king of the 19th dynasty, as we call him Ramses the Great.
is often regarded as the greatest, most celebrated, and most powerful pharaoh of the Egyptian Empire. His successors and later called him ancestor. Ramses II led several military expeditions. not only as Ramses the Great, but also as a great warrior, builder, family and religious man. In all these categories, he seemed to excel. We know this due to many of his temples that are still standing up till now. We know the volatile political climate that existed during his reign, during to the many writings that have survived the test of time. These writings have given us insight into the man as a political being and how he controlled his kingdom and how he managed to outsmart many of his enemies. There are two main floors in the museum, the ground and the first floor. On the ground floor, there is an extensive collection of papyrus and coins 
used in the ancient world. The numerous pieces of papyrus are generally small fragments due to their decay over the past two millennia. Several languages are found on these pieces, including Greek, Latin, Arabic, and the ancient Egyptian writing language of hieroglyphs. This has helped historians research the history of ancient Egyptian trade. Also on the ground floor are artifacts from the New Kingdom, the time period between 1550 and 1069 BC. These artifacts are generally larger than items created in earlier centuries. Those items include statues, tables and coffins. The Old Kingdom is the name given to the period in the 3rd millennium BC, when Egypt attained its first continuous peak of civilization in complexity and achievement. the first of three so-called kingdom periods which mark the high points of civilization in the lower Nile Valley. The Old Kingdom is most commonly regarded as the period from the 3rd dynasty through to the 6th dynasty. During the Old Kingdom, the King of Egypt became a living God who ruled absolutely and could demand the services and wealth of his subjects.
Under King Djoser, the first king of the third dynasty of the Old Kingdom, the royal capital of Egypt was moved to Memphis, where Djoser established his court. The museum houses about 160,000 objects, covering 5,000 years of Egypt's history. Moving around the museum make you feel as if you are traveling from one age to another, surrounded with so many ancient pieces and artifacts that reflect different ages, going back thousands of years. On the entrance, there is an impressive big colossus for Ramses II, the third king of the 19th dynasty, as we call him Ramses the Great. He is often regarded as the greatest, most celebrated, and most powerful pharaoh of the Egyptian Empire. His successors and later Egyptians called him Great Ancestor. Ramses II led several military expeditions. He is known not only as Ramses the Great, but also as a great warrior, builder, family and religious man.
In all these categories, he seemed to excel. We know this due to many of his temples that are still standing up till now. We know the volatile political climate that existed during his reign, during to the many writings that have survived the test of time. These writings have given us insight into the man as a political being and how he controlled his kingdom and how he managed to outsmart many of his enemies. for today thank you all for joining us next time we will be back and we will tell you how to enjoy your vacation in egypt especially if you are interested to learn more about culture more about architecture and then we say that in egypt we have many of these beautiful sites that can tell us more about the history of egypt till we meet again thanks for joining us